The West Virginia University Institute of Technology hosted the 2023 West Virginia Bridge Design and Build Contest. The competition places emphasis on engineering, utilizing practical design principles in the software through which students create their bridge designs. The contest also aims to attract more students to STEM programs and teach them the fundamentals of civil engineering. So STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So it's more of hands-on learning how to apply the math that you learn in class and how to apply the physics, all the science that you do in school in real life. How that can interpolate to stuff we use every day. Dr. Yang, an associate professor at the West Virginia University Institute of Technology, says that West Virginia, much like other states, is currently experiencing a shortage of engineers. We try to attract young generation to be in the engineering field because West Virginia, we really need an engineer. And across the country, we also need a lot of engineers uh, in the next 20 years. As a result, Competitions of this nature serve as an excellent way to inspire young people to consider pursuing careers in transportation engineering. Heated scorpions! The contest consisted of two separately judged stages, a two-hour computer software competition and a three-hour round of destructive testing of balsa wood bridge models. The computer software competition tested the student's ability to develop the lowest cost bridge with the highest structure strength capable of handling the specific traffic flow. So that's my favorite aspect of this whole entire project is seeing the kids, you know, and, and seeing the looks on their face and you can see the wheels turning in their brains. You know, they're, they're thinking hard and they're focused on this and it's just a pleasure to see that, um, especially that they wanna learn and they wanna, you know, potentially become an engineer in the future. Once the computer software segment of the competition had wrapped up, the student participants reconvened with their parents at the library to prepare their bridges for the destructive testing phase. As the student attendees gathered in the gym, there were mixed emotions of enthusiasm and nervousness about whose bridge could last the longest during the destructive testing phase of the competition. Well, each uh, bridge produced by each of the student teams will be tested on what we call the testing table which has a span of 12 inches. So the bridges will be placed there and they will be loaded uh, by using a bucket with uh, sand. The amount of sand is increasingly uh, incremented until the failure of the bridge is reached, at which point we record the load that the bridge was able to carry. I was thinking that I would do pretty good, but I didn't expect it to do as good as it did. Because triangles are the strongest shape, so I made my whole design a triangle. And the way I have it designed, it distributes the weight evenly. I didn't expect it to hold that much because our bridge was relatively light, especially compared to others. And uh, I was mostly just nervous while I was watching them add the sand. It's kind of shocking when it snapped. We were very nervous and we were watching as the like tension and compression built and as it like as our bridge bowed and we were like we could hear it crack and that's when we were like oh no. <laughs> the contest also serves as a foundation for the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials STEM Outreach Solutions which introduces students in grades K through 12 to the work world of transportation and civil engineering. STEM Outreach Solutions culminates in the annual day-long National Bridge Competition, typically held in person at Ashdo Spring Meeting. For more information about bridge competitions in your state, please visit Ashdo STEM Outreach Solutions by going to the link below.